right side, and it's going to get through. And a run will come in to score on the play. Slider ripped into left field by Bichette. Springer is getting the wave, and this game is tied. Bo has got things going, man. And a ground ball backhanded by Bichette. That will get the run home to give them the lead. Whoa. And Bo is furious. I don't blame him for that kind of reaction. I mean, this is right around his face. That's scary. And he hit him. And the umpires are coming in to have a conversation. And, and now they're going back and forth at the dugouts. Pete Walker and Kyle Snyder are getting into it. The tying run out at second with two down. And here's Bichette. And in the air to left field. Well hit. Gone! What a roll. He is on right now, Buck. And the Blue Jays have just jumped ahead of the Rays in the standings with this win tonight. Bo is absolutely crushing it this month. Continues that torrid pace. Look at the numbers he has. And then, well, look at the rest of the Jays as well. Seven home runs. The rest of the team has five. His 5'11 average, a Blue Jays record in an 11-game span. But, of course, there's no I in team. It is a team win for sure. And look at where the team is sitting right now. Tied with the Mariners for that first wild card spot. With a win, they uh, leapfrogged over the Rays. And now the Jays five and a half behind New York. New York did not play on Monday. So why settle for the wild card when they can maybe track down the Yankees for that AL East, which didn't seem possible at the end of right. July, beginning of August. And all of a sudden, you're like, OK, we've got maybe. A, maybe? maybe. I mean, we've said that a couple of times yeah. when we've been working together over the show, that um, if the Jays keep putting up numbers like they do and Bo keeps doing what he does, maybe. But you mentioned it, a team game, credit yep. to starter Jose Barrios, the bullpen, of course, Jordan Romano at the end, closing it down. But Our guy just... Jackie Bradley Jr. with Look a phenomenal catch in, catch in center in the ninth. Yes. A great way to start the home stand with more on it, Hazel May and Shadavidi. Blue Jays hitting coach Guillermo Martinez said only an elite hitter could do what Bo Bichette did on Monday night. Take a fastball near the face in one at bat and on the very next one hit a two run home run out in a huge spot. It was a very scary moment Martinez told me but Bo has this uncanny way of wiping the slate clean and moving on to the next. Hazel kind of reminded you of Jose Bautista and the way that he used to do that back in the day where someone would get a little close to him and then they'd make them pay immediately afterwards and Bo Bichette was certainly not thinking about vengeance in that subsequent at bat he said when he the ball got up in his face his life flashed before his eyes uh, but the way he was able to lock in is just one of the things his Blue Jays teammates were really marveling about afterwards and I was talking to Danny Jansen about just as a catcher how you would try to approach a hitter as hot as Bichette is right now and he said basically you go into it with just trying to be as smart as you can. And you feel like you almost have to make the perfect pitch. And he said that sense among the other team that you have to be completely perfect or else Bichette's going to make you pay really feeds into everything right now because that may make it a bit more likely that the pitcher makes a mistake and leaves something around the plate that Bichette can get to. And Kevin Biggio, who's seen him just about as much as anybody on this team, said he can't remember Bichette being this locked in. He's seen him really good. He's seen him through some tough stretches and he really couldn't say enough good things about the way Bichette is able to adjust from pitch to pitch right now. It's covering the entirety of the plate and really not leaving anything for the opposition to go to. Well, Jose Barrios uh, definitely appreciated the support, but he also did a really good job keeping the Blue Jays in this ball game. Six and a third innings gave up just one earned run, and he has really stepped up to the plate when it comes to facing AL East Division rivals. Very much so, and then let's put that in the context of what the Blue Jays are facing this week. This is the first game of five in four days. There's a doubleheader on Tuesday, and what the Blue Jays needed, I mean, they needed quality for sure, but they also needed quantity in terms 
terms of innings, and he gave them that. He only left eight outs for the bullpen to collect. That makes everyone who pitched in this game available for some part of the doubleheader on Tuesday. That puts the Blue Jays in a really good spot going into 18 innings. And now that they have their pitching staff set up, probably in a bit of a better way right now than the Rays do. Mm -hmm. The Rays got chewed up over the weekend against the Yankees, got chewed up a little bit again Monday night. The Blue Jays, if they execute, are in a, a good position to take advantage of a Rays team that's had to log a lot of innings and a little, be, a little bit beaten up in their bullpen. Well, let's play two on Tuesday. Uh, Alec Manoa gets the opener, and Sportsnet will have first pitch for you at 1 p.m. Eastern. All right, thanks a lot, Great guys. How about Matthew Kachuk? Game two, Rangers Marlins, Texas one, game pitch. one. Kachuk thrown out the first pitch, uh, low and outside. Because he's waiting for the NHL season. October 7th. Weird play in the seventh. Two strikes on JJ Bidet. He fouls it off the mask of Jonah Heim, who locates the ball and makes an incredible barehanded catch. That's an out. In fact, that she goes down as a strikeout in the scorebook. Play you definitely don't see every day. Rollins win. 10 6. Double checks. Here is your baseball slate for Tuesday. Hazel mentioned the doubleheader gets going at 1 Eastern on Sportsnet. Nice and early out west. Game 2, around 6.30 Eastern. Probably is 6.30 Eastern, given the time between the two. 3.30 Pacific on Sportsnet. We also have Yankees Red Sox at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on Sportsnet 1. Joined after by the Padres and the Mariners. Everything, of course, available on Sportsnet now.